Welcome to a love reading of yours. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading, guys. This may or may not resonate. You get the Aquarius watching this video. Some of the energies of the cards you can be flipped. So feel free to switch those energies vice versa. And uh, time is fluid, as you know. You could have dealt with this energy or will be dealing with in the near future. If you do need a positive reading, all that information is going to be down in the below. Alright. Let's see. Knight of Swords as your current situation. Okay, so there's someone here who's wanting to rush in and talk to you. Okay, there's some, someone who's wanting to rush in and communicate, clear the air, whatever, right? But the Knight of Swords is someone, you know, who's just going to be in a hurry, right? So don't expect this to be a very mature conversation. This is also someone who's wanting him to just be very harsh. Uh, but again, they want to say that truth. Someone wants to communicate. You probably with a hermit in reverse here, your attitude is that I think you're wanting to come out of isolation. You could have isolated yourself. I don't think you guys are talking. You could have isolated yourself and you're wanting to come out of isolation, probably ready to enter the re-enter the world or ready to uh, get back to work, whatever, right? But this is a lot of uh, loneliness also. Out here, this person with the five of cups in reverse here, this person is wanting to move forward, okay? They're no longer wanting to cry over spilled milk. You could have ghosted this person, all right? You could have ghosted this person and now uh, probably you've been enlightened to something and now I think you're the one who's ready to come in and talk to this person, okay? There's been something that has been, um, probably, you know, when you were hermiting, right? There's been some facts where you um, realize a lot of things and now you're wanting to rush towards this person and talk to this person. However, this person has been crying with Smithman for a very long time, but they're no longer wanting to do that, okay? They're wanting to move forward. They're wanting to move on. The mutual energy between you guys is the seven of pentacles in reverse. So probably you both feel something was a big fat disappointment, okay? You both probably were very, very invested or there was one person here who was very invested and this person now thinks something was a waste of time, all right? Something was, something just didn't, a relationship probably just didn't come into fruition or they just didn't get the fruits of their labor, okay? In your emotions, you're resisting an ending to this. You already know that things have ended between you guys, okay? Probably when you guys separated or where, when there was a breakup, right? But you're resisting an ending, okay? You don't want this to end. You're holding on to this person. Whilst this person is wanting to move on. This person with the nine of swords, you're just stressing a lot, okay? You're on their mind on a constant basis. It's driving them nuts. They're going crazy. They're in panic mode. This person might not be showing this to you. Because logically they feel the need to move on, but when it comes to their emotions and their heart, they're going nuts. Their, their thoughts are completely spiraling out of control. Your attitude towards them is the three of cups. You want a reconciliation, okay, with this person. You want to get back to this person. But again, when the three of cups comes in, right, it's again a friend zoning card, right? This person's attitude with the king of pentacles is I feel that this person probably is, we have the king and the queen here, so this is a true pair, right? But what I feel is that this one person here, the masculine energy is very, very focused on commitment. This is someone who's very, very focused on something stable, something long term, okay? This person's got their shit together and this person knows what they want. And that is one of the reasons why they're moving forward because probably you are the one who is not ready to give them commitment or you are the one who is not ready to look at this in something, in, in something that you couldn't offer them something long term. They could have waited for you for a very long time, all right? And now because of they had a lot of disappointment, you guys could have split. You both went your own ways and this person's ready to move forward and move on, okay? Although it's great, it's, it's killing them to do that, but they are. Because with the King of Pentacles, this person's either very, very focused on something long term, focused on their growth, money. But again, this person wants marriage. This person wants something stable. The likely outcome is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I feel that there's still someone here who's still not ready for this commitment. Someone who's still not ready to invest or someone who's still just not ready to offer something long term. Someone's not being able to think practically. I think this is this is you Aquarius. I'm going to read this as Aquarius and this is the person you're dealing with. However, you can feel free to flip the sides, alright? You want this reconciliation. Agreed, Aquarius. But with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse yet, I still feel that you're not ready for this commitment because with the Three of Cups, is again a very friendly, not at least a friendly, but again, let's hang out. Let's see where this goes. Let's take one day at a time, all right? That's the energy that you're giving out to this person. That's your attitude. Their attitude is no, nothing doing. It's either black or white. It's either marriage or no. It's either commitment or no. It's either this long term or no, okay? Because if you really wanted something more serious with this person, I'd expect a two of cups here. Anyways, that's how you look at it. You guys don't have to go down and pass your comments. It's just how I read it. Clive with the Knight of Swords. What is this Knight of Swords? 
we have the Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, someone's wanting to move towards you very, very slowly. Okay, someone's taking baby step towards you, baby steps towards you is what I'm getting here. Or it could also mean that, you know what, this person wants to rush in and communicate towards you. And with the Knight of Pentacles, this person wants to do it, you know, it's... The communication can be very, very quick and really the communication is like, okay, you know what, I want to take it, I want to take it ahead, but I want to take it very, very slowly. Because with the Three of Swords in reverse here, there's someone here who's probably wanting to heal, who's wanting to have a reconciliation, or this is just someone who's trying to recover from a heartbreak, okay? Someone who's trying to just come out of a separation, breakup, but this is someone, something has cut them through very, very deep, and I think this person is wanting to stay away from any kind of pain, or any kind of trauma that this has caused, right? They don't want to be a part of it anymore because they're hurting and they're wanting to come out of it. They're, they're trying to heal. What is the hermit in reverse? What is this hermit in reverse? What is... Back of the hermit in reverse. Seven of Swords. So this is someone who is probably with a hermit in reverse in the Seven of Swords, right? I think this is someone who has a habit of probably, you know, running away from their feelings. The hermit in reverse can also be someone, you know, who's finding it very, very difficult to go within themselves, okay, and try and find out the answers. This person could be someone who is very scared to go within themselves and try to soul search or try to find the answers, okay? This could be someone who's literally flat out ignoring their feelings with the seven of swords. Someone who's trying to run away from this connection. Or someone who's just trying to be sneaky or try, you know, get away, probably, you know, to get back into this other person's life or your life. What is the seven of swords? What is the seven of swords? See, king of swords. This person knows that you want clear-cut communication, okay? They know exactly who they have to face and they cannot face you. They cannot face you. They're trying to find uh, an easy way out. I think this person is rushing towards you because with the knight of pentacles, it could also mean that this person sees you moving on, moving away from them, okay? Because you want to recover from this uh, uh, heartbreak. Yeah, that's what I see. I think there's there's one person in who's wanting to rush in whilst they watch the other person moving away from them. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. This person out here, Aquarius, if this is you, right? I'm going to read this as you. You're trying to avoid and ignore your feelings, okay? And you're wanting to learn your lessons the hard way. You exactly know with the King of Souls, this person wants that sort of communication. They want clear communication. Or this person is just in for the truth. It's like either you give me the truth or I'm not interested in any of the nonsense. But with the Seven of Swords, you're just being too deceptive. You're trying to find a way where you can just probably, you know, like, you're wearing, you're, you're, you're wearing a false mask. You're not being honest in this uh, situation. Why is the Five of Cups in reverse? This person has the best of memories with you, but I mean, it's like they cannot help it. They want to move on. They want to move forward. It's like I can also feel that this person probably even wants to forgive you, okay? Because with the Six of Cups here, this person sees you as your soul, as their soulmate. They feel a strong soulmate, soul tie connection to you, okay? And it's like, it can also mean that this person wants to let bygones be bygones and they even want to move forward, uh, you know, like, let it be whatever happened, happened, right? But they feel the strong soul tie connection to you. They're not being able to get over you. Um, what is the death in reverse? Whoa. <laughs> what is the death in reverse? Why is the death in reverse? Why is the death in reverse? How can the death in reverse be? Why can the death in reverse? Why can the death in reverse? Let's see. You want a new beginning with this person, okay? You refuse to end the situation with this person, with the world here. You want to shut all cycles and you want to start a new cycle with this person. But again, when it comes to letting this person go, I'm getting, you know what, with the death and the person in the world, you want a new chapter with this person, okay? 
but with death and reverse i think there's a resistance to ending a negative pattern out here there's a lot of codependency on something okay or you're just fearing change you could be even be fearing commitment is what i'm getting and you probably even think that with the world here this person has shut the door and this person has ended things with you something's come to an end or probably the things have also come to an end because you resisted on changing or you were probably not ready to change you were not ready to transform the relationship okay there is something very very um specific in in your thought pattern or something that you were resisting um that you were not ready to end okay which is probably one of the reasons why things have ended between you guys what is the nine of swords what is the nine of swords this person wants to work with you okay and they're stressing about how to make things happen they really really want to work with you okay they want to build with you they want partnership they want collaboration they want team up but it's like almost you know what logically they're forced to move away from you they have the best of memories with you they'd love for you guys to be together but they're just being forced to move away and they're thinking about you day and night they're just thinking and dreaming i mean i wish like we could just make this happen and you on the other end okay there's something that you're not ending either you're not letting some past memories go or you're not letting someone from your past go or this is just you who's just not wanting to end the cycle with this person okay over the world here either things have ended between you guys this person's completely shut in old cycle and that's something that you realize or you want a new cycle with this person but again your thoughts are still the same the new cycle is not going to start till you don't let the old go what is the three of cups no sorry what is the seven of pentacles in reverse why is this the mutual energy yeah see because someone has released someone's ready to release something toxic or someone has released something toxic they realize that this was a situation that was a disappointment in the past and it will continue to be disappointing okay someone thinks this was a bad investment this relationship and this was a very toxic relationship it was something unhealthy and this person has let it go one of you has let a relationship go okay or a connection go because it was just controlling and it was just draining someone out but yeah someone's detached completely only because they put in the effort only to see that things just did not grow between you guys from the 7 it just didn't go to the 10 because i think there was a lack of partnership it was a one sided situation what is the three of cups what is the three of cups okay we'll take it page of cups in reverse okay so yeah you want this with this person okay with the three of cups you want a reconciliation but again you're probably very in and out in and out with your communication with this person okay i feel you're not ready to open up emotionally you're the one who's being emotionally unavailable however with the sun here you see this person as your happiness okay you see this person as your you want growth expansion with this person you want something very very stable with this person okay but again the only issue out here is i think with the seven of swords and the death in reverse there is something that is and repeating itself over and over again okay again either there's something from your past some emotional trauma that you're carrying from a past relationship you're carrying it towards a relationship which has good potential and you're ruining it because you're not being able to get over that past or this is just you who's constantly trying to live in self denial or trying to sabotage this connection whereas you know that this person is going to cut you out or this person has already cut you out because of your methods or because of your deceptive ways you know with the sun here you you're very enlightened to the fact that this is someone who's going to make you very happy or you're very happy with this person but again you're so emotionally shut off or probably you're just someone who just wants to stay to three of cups you just want to friend zone this person you want something very casual whilst this person is the king of pentacles they want something solid committed and you know that because this person has made it very very clear to you why is the king of pentacles here This person means business for sure. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Why is the King of Pentacles here? Why is the King of Pentacles? Why is the King of Why is the King of Pentacles? Why is the King of Pentacles? See? That's what I said. This person is walking away because they are going to walk they are going to go towards something that gives them stability. growth security longevity commitment marriage etc and if you're not doing that 
they're ready to walk away and it's very very evident for them okay they're stressing about this commitment with you they're stressing about you know they're thinking about wanting to work with you teamwork collaboration with you all day all the time but five of cups in reverse and the eight of cups here this person's they're moving on i said that before also they're moving on they're hurt and i think you're rushing in because you see them moving on slowly yeah pretty much they're moving on for sure okay they're walking away from something that's no longer making them happy why is the queen of pentacles in reverse why is the queen of pentacles in reverse i love these cards so yeah i mean i cannot give up on these i know one card is very difficult to get one card when i try to shuffle but i'm in love with these cards i'm obsessed with them why is the queen of pentacles in reverse whoa Okay, one second. Try for the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Someone's still trapped in their head. Someone's still trapped in their head and they're wanting to think. They're thinking about this commitment, okay? But they're too scared. Someone's paralyzed by fear and that's why they're not being able to think straight. Queen of Pentacles in reverse is someone who's not being practical, someone who's not being grounded. Someone's letting their emotions take the best of them. Again, this person is someone you know who's not being able to invest, or they're just not looking into something stable or something long term. Okay, with the eight of swords here again, I see someone who's trapped in their head, not being able to make a decision. This is someone who's stuck in their head, who's over analyzing, overthinking the commitment part. Okay, they do understand that this is a very spiritual connection, something very spiritually guided. They know it's meant to be, but again, they're not taking action. There's one person, and I think it's this person here on this side. Okay. Sorry, so I think it's this person on this side out here who's just not ready to take action. They are thinking about it, but with the eight of swords, they're trapped. I'm almost getting this person is not really trapped because they, whatever they're thinking, right? It's all creating thoughts and scenarios in their head that don't really exist. Again, very very fear based. Okay, very fear based. Death in reverse. This is someone who is just not ready to end a cycle, or who's just not ready to end a negative thought pattern. Okay. And this person is very clear that this is not what they want. They're very sure. They made it very clear. They they've cut through the bullshit. And now that you this person sees this person walking away, that the person they want to rush in and talk, but this person's slowly getting out of this person's life, and that's what you don't realize. If you're not going to make a move, we they don't want the Knight of Swords, okay? They want the Queen of Pentacles. They want something stable, something committed. And if you're not ready to offer this to that person, whoever cross watch out Aquarius, whoever, okay? They're, they're walking away. It's already there in their attitude. It's already there on their mind. All right. But yeah, if you're someone still stuck in their head, over analyzing, over thinking, uh, feeling the need of that they are trapped. Someone's doing this to them. But I'm sorry, this is no one doing to anyone. Okay, no, no one's doing this to you. This is you who's choosing to be in that state. Okay, you need to get out of that. You need a, a cold splash of water on your face. And you need to get into your senses because right now with the eight of swords here, the only reason you're not being able to offer this commitment is I think you're scared. You don't know how it's going to work out. Is it going to work out? Is it going to be successful? What if something? What if it lands up the same way your past relationship ended? Whatever, anything. So with the higher friend here, you need to check what you're committing to or what you're not committing to. Okay? This is a very meant to be connection, but you're screwing it up only because you're in your head. Whoever this resonates with. Okay? So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe if it resonates. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Next time. Bye-bye. Next time.